Is a Taliban takeover of Afghanistan now inevitable? No, it is not. Because you have the Afghan troops have 300,000 well-equipped, as well-equipped as any army in the world, and an Air Force, against something like 75,000 Taliban. It is not inevitable. The news comes after the fall of mazar sharif Afghanistan's fourth largest city. And Jalalabad, just east of the capital, positioning the Taliban to take control of the entire country. The group has seized city after city in just over one week as the U.S. prepares to end its war of two decades. بنابردن نیروهای افغانی به خاک جمهوری اسلامی ایران زنده باد ایران و ایرانی آقای اشرف غنی ما اجنبی هستیم یا شما اینگونه مردان آغوش من را به نور ندارن میدان محشر برای مردمی میدان محشر است زندان پل چرخی Overnight, the Taliban captured more cities near Kabul. Government troops mostly not putting up a fight. The Afghan army has all but melted away. And every time the Taliban take a base, they seize weapons, including these sophisticated drones. Your own intelligence community has assessed that the Afghan government will likely collapse. That is not true. Is it, can you please clarify what they have told you about whether that will happen or not? That is not true. They, so, did, not, they didn't, did not reach that conclusion. So what is the level of confidence that they have that it will not collapse? The Afghan government and leadership has to come together. They clearly have the capacity to sustain the government in place. سایی که بچه اینان تیک حال است یک از صبح هشت بجه که نیم مطاره هم مقسم بند است تا باره کلش بند است کمالا هم تا مسره بند است مردم کلش پیاده می دوان مردم از سایی که پیاده می دوان کلش را بند است کلش I hear a lot of shouting uh, coming down the road behind me. In fact, it is a, I think it's a procession of, uh, of the Taliban. Uh, yes, it is. There's the white flag. And uh, they're coming down uh, the street uh, just next to us. They're in their shawar kameez. They're led by uh, a white flag. Uh, Do you see any parallels between this withdrawal and what happened in Vietnam with some people feeling... None whatsoever. Zero. What you had is you had entire brigades breaking through the gates of our embassy. Six, if I'm not mistaken. The Taliban is not the, South, the North Vietnamese Army. They're not, they're not remotely comparable in terms of capability. There's going to be no circumstance where you see people being lifted off the roof of an embassy in the, of the United States from Afghanistan. It is not at all comparable. So this is coming in from, it's just done some loops uh, around the territory at a higher altitude, and now it's coming into land at the U.S. Embassy. Earlier we had two, and there's another one taking off to my left, if we just pan over here, Saludin, and we see... So Charlotte, one assumes uh, that that is the left, evacuation left, process left, ongoing, but what we're looking at in terms of yeah. helicopters, is, yeah. that, is that right? Yeah, what you're looking at, we've just had uh, two more helicopters take off from the U.S. Embassy. So the question now is, where do they go from here? That, the jury is still out. But the likelihood there's going to be the Taliban overrunning everything and owning the whole country is highly unlikely. It's our belief that one day Mujahideen will have victory and Islamic law will come not to just Afghanistan, but all over the world. We are not in a hurry. We believe it will come one day. Jihad will not end until the last day. I don't think that uh, the fact that our forces are, are withdrawing, one, we're not withdrawing, we're staying, uh, the embassy is staying, our programs are staying, we're working to make sure that other partners stay, we're building all of that up, and uh, whatever happens in Afghanistan, 
if there is a significant deterioration uh, in security, um, that could well happen. We've discussed this uh, before. Um, I don't think it's going to be something that happens from a Friday to a Monday. Uh, so I wouldn't um, necessarily equate the departure of our forces uh, in July, August, or by early September with some kind of immediate uh, deterioration uh, in the uh, in the situation. Breaking news this morning out of Afghanistan. Sources say the U.S. Uh, is now completely pulling out all U.S. personnel from the U.S. Embassy in Kabul over the next 72 hours. That is different from what we heard on Thursday from the president, who said some uh, personnel would be pulled out.